Perhaps there are jobs you never thought of as being an important part of the great American economy pattern. But every basic task is essential to the necessity and convenience of all in this blessed land of all of us. West or south, no matter where you go or what you are looking for, you'll find somebody working working as a part of the vast and intricate and interlocking network of production that leads the raw material to finished product. The turpentine barrel in Florida and in Georgia is the first link in an endless conveyor belt that winds its way from south or east to west and north, from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon. Although in the modern dairy plant or creamery, butter is churned in large mechanical churns, the butter maker must know how to turn out a product of good flavor and high quality. He may acquire this knowledge on the job from an experienced worker, in a regular college dairy course, or in one of the short courses in butter making and milk plant operation, which are given in a number of the agricultural colleges and universities. In the same way, Cheese making can be learned, for scientific methods have improved and standardized the making of cheese, and a knowledge of chemistry and bacteriology is essential in this work. Everybody likes to eat. Of course, each may have his own individual preference, but no matter whether it's a hot dog at the county fair or a full course dinner at the Ritz, there's no denying that people like to eat. Food is the high spot in our daily lives, whether it's aboard a speeding train or in our favorite lunchroom round the corner. For man must eat, and therein lies the secret of the growth and popularity of one of our biggest industries, the restaurant. Here is a business employing over two million persons and doing over two billion dollars worth of business annually. All because people have to eat, like to eat, and don't like the work of fixing their own food. Air transportation has proved itself a vital factor in the social and economic life of modern civilization. It is a rapidly expanding industry embracing many trades and professions. An industry employing thousands of persons. For example, to keep each airliner in the air today, over 100 workers are needed on the ground. Many of these are engaged in office work. Of this number, the reservations department, comprises a specialized group. It is here that flight schedules, rates, reservations, and related subjects are communicated directly to the public by telephone. The work is interesting, but requires tact, sales ability, and a pleasant, well-modulated voice. Another reservations job is at the ticket counter. Here, however, the duties include the actual issuing of tickets through direct personal contact with the public. As in many departments, the work is handled in shifts, for around-the-clock service characterizes the industry. 